Hello dear students, in today's video, I am going to discuss ISC proposal writing. Here I have solved a proposal for setting up a garden club. Let me just read the question for you. As the head boy or head girl of your school, you have been given the responsibility of setting up a garden club for those students who wish to pursue their hobby of gardening. What is the subject? Establishing a garden club. Write a proposal in about 150 words. The word limit 150 words approximately stating the steps you would take to successfully establish this club. This section of the question is very important. Focus on the steps that you would take to successfully establish this club. This is our answer. How will you begin your proposal? Always write a catchy to the point heading or title. Use capital letters in order to write the title and neatly underline the title or heading. Proposal for setting up a school garden club. Take help from the question in order to write an appropriate title. It's there in the question. Just use the hints from the question in order to frame your answer. After that, leave a line and start writing the introduction. To establish an extracurricular school gardening club for students who want to be more involved with gardening, we propose to set up a garden club. This is a specific brief introductory statement. We propose to set up a garden club because of this purpose. Just write a single sentence in the introduction and then leave a line and start writing the objectives, two objectives and you may change paragraphs. You may write one objective and then change the paragraph and write the second objective. No problem at all. Here I have written the objectives in one single paragraph but don't use bullets here. Change paragraphs or write in a single paragraph. But you must write two points, two objectives. Let's read the first objective here. A school garden club will introduce the students and staff members to the joys of gardening and teach them about healthy lifestyle choices, exercise through gardening. So this is the first objective. And the second objective it will also foster student leadership skills and may lead to future hobbies and career opportunities. Use language related to the topic. Linguistic ability is important. You will be marked on how you are able to express yourselves. No spelling mistakes and put punctuation marks at their proper places. And be careful with your use of tenses. After writing the two objectives, again leave a line and start writing the list of measures. Four list of measures. Use bullets here. List of measures and the first point. The gardening club advisors will meet with each class. Introduce the gardening club. And discuss how interested students may join. Now, just read the question and see. In the question, it is clearly mentioned that you will have to state the steps you would take to successfully establish this club. Hence, I have framed the four points related to the steps that I will take as a head boy or head girl to establish this club. Specific steps and nothing else. The first step, the gardening club advisors will meet with each class, introduce the gardening club and discuss how interested students may join. The next step, another bullet, club advisors will wear gardening costumes and props including gardening tools may be used to generate excitement. The third step, 
Students will be given a monthly outline of activities and events for the year. And the fourth point, teachers will give application forms to be completed by students for free membership. These are the four steps among many that I will take in order to establish this club successfully. So read the question thoroughly and frame your answers according to what is asked in the question. Do not miss out any point. Use the hints given in the question. In this way, you will be able to score full marks in proposal writing. Proposal writing is very interesting and always conclude with a very good summing up or conclusion. A good ending. Do not just end abruptly. Use sentences like the one that I have used. We hope our proposal will be considered with utmost priority. You may also write, we hope that our proposal will be accepted, anything. But you must write an appropriate ending statement. Here I have something to say. In some schools, teachers always ask students to mention the name and the designation. For example, Meeta Sinha, head girl. And in some schools and according to the pattern issued by the council, there is no such thing. So mentioning the name and designation is completely optional. If your teacher has asked you not to write the name and designation, don't mention these things. And if your teacher has asked you to write your name and designation, then follow her instructions. No problem. Completely optional. So, my dear students, this is how you are going to write your proposal in order to get full 10 marks. And do check the pin comment section because we have many proposals solved specially for you.